Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy the Feist back at it with another video. But if this is your first time here, definitely be sure to hit 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 that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Definitely come join us on Discord. It's the best community ever. Uh definitely if you wanted to support the stream or the channel financially, there's gonna be a Patreon link. We actually do have some Feist fan merchandise items. Definitely check that Etsy link in the link below. We're going to start talking about all this stuff. Um, there's going to be a few things on the description. So as you can see, guys, if you guys are on this video, then you're having the same issue that I had when I was trying to get Plarium Play to work. Uh, Plarium Play, finally, I did get it to work. Shoutouts to uh, my boy Toaster. He's on Discord. He was the one that kind of helped me go through this. And then I actually found some ways on uh, how I was able to get it resolved after I followed some of the steps that he suggested from a forum. So basically... Basically, I'm going to have the link below on what some people said on the forum, and I'm going to tell you what I did. So, first, I want to show you the issue that I had when I tried to get Plarium to work. Uh, I did show it on stream. Check this clip out real quick, because if you had this issue, then this might help you. Check it out. I don't know why. It doesn't fucking... It doesn't boot it up. All right, guys, so if you had the same issue that uh, I kind of showed in that video, which was basically the you hit the launch button, it goes from launch, pending, running, and then goes back to launch and nothing happens. This is what I did, and I want to give you the step-by-steps of the things that I kind of did. I'm not actually going to do it. I'm going to pseudo show you the steps I did and what made it work for me. So, And I'll tell you my failures on what I did just in case. So if you guys actually were like, I did it, but I, you know, if I did it this way, so maybe you might might deal with the same issue and it's like you, you might have missed a step also I'm gonna leave the links like I said I'm of the forum below of what some people did so the first thing I did was I uninstalled Plarium play so you basically you know you you type in control panel on Windows then it's gonna basically you click that and then over here on the top right on the search I say uninstall you know or if you know the faster way of doing it um, I always forget, so I always just like kind of do it like this or whatever. Uninstall. Uh, it's going to lead it to that. You're going to say uninstall program. Then you're going to search for Plarium Play. Plarium Play. And then you're going to right click it. You're going to say uninstall and so on and so forth. After you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the Windows key R. And then it's going to leave, it's going to pop up a thing that is going to tell you what you want to run and you're going to type in and I'm going to shift this over to the left. You're going to type in reg edit and then you're going to click OK. After you do the uh, uninstallation and what that's going to do is that's going to lead you to this over here where it's all your registration keys. Now, the thing that I want you to do explicitly when it comes to this is I want you to hit control F. Uh, you could probably actually highlight my computer. Then do control F and I want you to search with a capital P Plarium and then find next by hitting enter. So it's going to be searching the registries to find that string that says Plarium. So if it says Plarium with a capital P like Plarium, Plarium, Play, those things I would want you to delete from the registries. And they say that also in the forum to do that, but you have to search for the one that has the capital P essentially. So this usually took a while for me for it to do that. So I'm going to let it do it like once or twice and give you an idea of what I'm going to, what I did. And then while this is going through the searching, I'm going to tell you the next steps just to kind of give you the idea. So then what I did and it failed was basically after I did all this and I did it accidentally with lowercase P's and I, that that's not what you should do um so this is not a good example of something that it discovered so i am gonna say f3 on this okay so you see that plarium uh folder i would uninstall that that plarium play installer i would uninstall that so i'm gonna hit f3 it's gonna keep searching but those those type of folders are the folders that you're gonna want to get rid of uh, and then after that, once you get rid of those folders and, and direct those directories and stuff, that's when you're going to try to reinstall it. Now, the failure that happened for me, guys, was I tried to reinstall it. I didn't do a computer restart. I tried to just reinstall it on the same C drive I had. And uh, it didn't work. For some reason, I was still having the same issues. So what I did was I basically did a computer. I, I 
you know, basically after it didn't succeed, I decided to do it again. I uninstalled it. I deleted the, you know, the Plarium, Plarium play folders or whatever by searching through my whole directory. They did say in the forum to look for specifically just HKEY current user, but I kind of just looked across the board as well, um, just to make sure I could get rid of those folders and stuff. And that was pretty much it. I didn't really mess with any, um, any of the files the second time around. So that's what I did. I deleted the Plarium folder the play and play folders that installers that all that stuff and then um the way i succeeded i did that i uninstalled it i went into the reg edit i removed those playroom folders then i restarted my computer so i restarted my computer then i went through the installer again and i'm also going to put the link of the installer that worked for me it was version 5.1 and i'm going to reiterate this again and after that instead of doing it on the c drive i actually did it on another drive i did it on my um i forgot which drive it was it was like the g drive it was just basically another drive altogether um let me see the drive i did it on guys um that was not what I wanted to do. The drive I did it on was essentially the D drive in this case. I basically decided to not use this and I did this and I put it in, I think, what was it? Program 86 folder? No, it was probably program files, programs. And I basically like created a folder and I called it Paul's Plarium Play and then basically installed it here. And when I, you know, basically ran it, it, it worked. When I finally was able to click launch, it actually decided to do a booting and start the game itself, which I was like insanely blown away, guys, because I've been wanting to do this for the past two months and I've been struggling with it so hardcore. And I know a lot of people besides me have been seriously struggling with it. And I wanted to kind of do a video to discuss all these things I did. Um, so that was essentially all the things I did. Shout outs to Toaster for tr for really helping me out on doing this. It was like four in the morning for him in Belgium when he was helping me out. And then I decided to uh, try to do some extra stuff. And then once I finally got it to working, I restarted. I started streaming again on YouTube and Switch. And then everyone started hanging out some more. And we hung out till like two or three in the morning before I had to pick up my mom for uh, spending the, the Christmas holidays with us. It, it's, I'm so grateful that we finally got it, got this to, to work because the, it's just, it's so much more performant guys. It's insanely good. It's like now when I fa farm with Bellower, I can get down to like six seconds, which is like really crazy. Um, Blue Stacks was making it go to like 12, eight, nine, just because it was going so slow. And these frame rates are just crazy when you get to finish it and you actually kill someone. Like you see, like right now we're about to like end it in like a few seconds and 11 seconds and he didn't even kill all of them right away. But when he does, it goes basically to six seconds, which is insanely good and I love it. So just gonna kind of reiterate it again, guys. What I essentially did, uninstall play and play. Next thing, registration, delete those Plarium folders. Then after that, do a computer restart. Then after that, uh, basically, you know, get the installer, the latest and greatest one. I'm gonna put the link on the one I use. There'll probably be a more future one in the version, so mine might be deprecated. Change it to, uh, install it to a different drive, and it'll work. If you don't have a different drive, I mean, you could try it with the computer restart, but I basically did it. By, I, I just kind of went radical on it and just did it on a different drive and it worked. So it may work after a computer restart. It may work on the same drive after a computer restart. But for me, I basically just kind of went a, a step further and decided to do it on a different drive and it actually worked out for me. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Again, if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit, 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 hit that subscribe button if you really do appreciate the fact that I was able to create a video for this because I know a lot of people are struggling with that. I really hope this video does help you if um for whatever reason this video uh didn't if if you were able to fix it a different way 
definitely be sure to put it in the comments below because I want this to kind of get exposed where everyone will be able to eventually get Plurium Play to work if they're dealing with the same exact issues we're dealing with. And if you guys are having another issue, post it in the comments because most likely there might be someone else that is dealing with that issue or has encountered that issue and they might be able to answer in the comments. And if they, if they do, um, I'll try to relay that message to people in the comments because I really do want that to happen. Come join us on Discord, all that good stuff. We all love helping each other and stuff, and uh, I really do appreciate all the help that and love and support that you guys do. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and uh, happy raid grinding, guys. Peace. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya